Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. After years of construction and anticipation, the Wine Dance community celebrates the grand opening of the first building at Wine Dance Village. Three, two, one. In 2002, uh, the year I became Babylon Town Supervisor, we launched uh, with the community the Wine Dance Rising effort. And today, all those years of work have brought us to this opening and this beautiful building, which is the first step in what is becoming a new downtown here on Long Island. When people come here, what they'll, they'll notice is great design, great architecture. You'll see a beautiful plaza here with ice skating rink and uh, a plaza with fountains and performance spaces, a beautiful new train station, and shops and stores and, and restaurants. That's what's coming, and that's what this building and opening represents today. Although today is the official ribbon cutting ceremony, this new building is almost at full capacity. I'm very pleased to announce that the residential apartments in this building have, have been very strong in leasing, and today we're over 85% leased. A big reason for the high occupancy rate is the affordability of the units. The project is financed, this first building is financed um, through the New York State Affordable Housing Program, which provides financing through low-income housing tax credits, and in return we devote uh, fifty five percent of the building to affordable or workforce units for families of various income levels and the balance of the building forty five percent is for market uh, market homes at market rental prices price is not the only consideration for today's renters what people want today they want convenience they want lifestyle uh, I think the days of suburban sprawl I mean as we we live on Long Island we know there's very little land left but there's great opportunity to redevelop areas that have been in decline for many years. Finally seeing this first phase of construction come to an end has Wyandanch believing that everything's going to be all right. Please don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. I've been in this community since 1996 and um, I'm happy to see new things and new changes. After the press conference, attendees were invited to see all the new changes. The sample apartment was dressed to impress. The kitchen has elegant cabinets, granite countertops, and stainless steel appliances. The living room is bathed in natural light. It's beautiful. This is really a nice honeymoon suite. Very nice. And the bedrooms were so inviting that guest after guest had no trouble imagining themselves in one of them. That's my room. The public areas were also impressive. The community room has a snack bar, a large screen TV, plenty of seating, an ideal place for hosting events. And in the parking lot, there are charging stations for electric cars. Among the many things still to come to Wyandanch Rising is a second building, a new Long Island Railroad station, and a botanical garden. And people are starting to look at Wyandanch not through the lens of the old stereotypes, but as a place that is on the move, where great things are happening. They're starting to see what we have always known, that this is a great community.